Hi everybody, Steph here and what we've got for you today is another gorgeous pen. What we have here, this is the, well it's one of the models of the Schaefer Imperial fountain pens. Now the Schaefer Imperial pens, the um, they brought them out in different configurations, they had plastic barrels um, with metal caps, plastic caps etc. This this model here is actually the Schaefer Imperial Triumph and as we'll show in a moment it's actually the touchdown filler. Now this model comes in this as you can see it's got this 12 carat gold filled cap and barrel and both the cap and the barrel have got this line pattern which it's actually four lines sort of bunched together then two then four two and so on so forth and that obviously carry on carries on on the barrel you can see somewhere if we just turn it around you can see there we've got the empty cartouche there to the barrel and then to the end there we've got the filler knob which we'll show you in a moment now the size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is approximately 137 millimeters capped around the sort of diameter diameter of the barrel around here it's approximately 11.5 uh, in diameter you can see it's got the very recognizable Schaefer clip there to the end again to the top we've got the Schaefer white dot and if we show you the imprint to the bottom of the barrel uh, sorry to the bottom of the cap there you can see that it says Schaefer and then if we turn it round it's got the the crown symbol in the middle and then a little bit further round we've got Schaefer Schaefer USA so a lovely cap imprint there if we take the cap off which simply just simply pushes on and off let's give you a twirl of the pen and the cap together a lovely lovely example what I've done I've fully serviced it I've put new point seals we've put a new o-ring inside um, we've also put a new sack in the pen so as we'll show you in a moment it should be in full working order you can see the section there we've got this black section with the inlaid Schaefer nib there and if we bring it a little bit closer a little bit difficult to show you these pens with it being gold um, but the the imprint on the nib reads Schaefer 14 carat and then just to the bottom there you can see it's got USA so as it says the pen was made in USA there's a sideways view let's show you the feed underneath there you can see it's got the Schaefer feed underneath like so as we said the pen is actually a touchdown filler which means that to the end here we've got this knob which simply unscrews like so and then what we do we pull out the filler like that and to fill the pen what we do we dip the the nib in the ink and what we do is just simply press down on the filler like so as I said it's been fully serviced so as with a lot of the pens it's as good time as any to see if it works so let's dip the nib in the ink and I'll just be quiet for a moment okay so I'm hoping you could hear that a lovely sort of bubbling sound which so far so good sounds fine now what we need to do is just simply screw back the little knob to the end here let's bring on a writing pad and let's keep our fingers crossed so what we have is a A little bit of a skip in there just for a little bit of moment but there you go you can see it's working lovely now so we've got the Schaefer and this one's the Imperial um, as we said a little bit earlier this model is called the the Triumph and it's writing very very nicely it's got a nice 
smooth nib on it. There's no flexibility in the nib as with well a lot of these pens but you can see it's writing with I would say a fine line and again nice and smooth. So let's show you the sample there. So as you can see writing with a lovely fine line a nice wet line as well lovely lovely writer. So let's pop the cap back on and there we have it for you the Schaefer Imperial Triumph touchdown fountain pen made in the USA. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as always as much as I enjoy showing them to you don't forget loads and loads of videos on my channel don't be shy leave a comment don't forget to subscribe but for now I'll just say bye bye now